Hey there, my beautiful friend. It's Ed. I hope you're having a lovely English day. Look at that blue sky. Gotta love this winter. I probably look absolutely freezing right now because it's minus three and my hands feel like they're about to fall off. <laughs> so what I would like to talk to you about in this video, by the way, sorry I'm on my selfie um, camera on my phone. My lovely camera has just died. Brilliant. So anyway, what I want to talk to you about is the three top reasons that people fail to um, succeed with their weight loss journey, okay? I found out a statistic the other day that only 4.4% of people that um, attempt to lose 20% or more of their body weight actually succeed. 4.4%. Uh, that is a small, small number. And 20% of your body weight to lose is not a drastic amount if you're overweight. Um, so this shows that there is a big um, there's something is going wrong in this industry where there's such a small success rate so I want to share with you my opinion on why I think that is as a personal trainer as a life coach and as a body transformation specialist so number one I believe that this market is so saturated there is so much information out there there's good information and there's bad information but the problem with the fact that there's just so much of it means that it's really hard to know which information to actually roll with, okay? And I'm sure you can resonate with this. It's the same in a lot of different industries where you, you put in a Google search and 10 million results come up. Um, so how do we know which, which people to believe, uh, which plan to follow, and all that stuff? So we find that we end up plan dithering. We toe dip into, into certain different things. We'll try... Um, various different approaches to our to tackling our problems and because we never actually stick to anything for any long period of time because as soon as we start to not see results we think oh this this new program will get me better results um, or we just keep jumping from one to the next so we never actually have to commit um, so as a result of that we never really actually get any um, any tangible result um, and see any sustainable progress and as a result we have been off the idea move on to the next thing or just give up altogether so the second reason I believe that so many people fail to actually lose the weight they want to and get into the shape that they want to is because of fad diets okay so there's plenty of them out here um, I had a message the other day from one of my clients who asked me what my thoughts are on um, on powder diets okay so I'm sure you've heard of them before, the things where you have meal replacements in the form of a powder. Um, there's, there's plenty of companies out there that suggest that you replace all your food with, with just powder, or just one meal a day, or two meal a day, whatever it is, um, replacing actual food. The funny thing about this that I never, which always, <laughs> always amazes me, is that if you look around at any person in the world who's in good shape and has been in good shape for any, any long period of time, they eat normal food and they eat like a normal person they don't starve themselves um, they just eat regular meals three meals a day whatever it is um, they just eat normally they don't have to do anything revolutionary um, they're not eat they're not certainly not having powders as meal replacements on a regular basis um, so that's something which I think is all wrong because if you start to do that so let's let's say you committed to six weeks um, of a fad diet or a powder diet, right? So let's say you lose three stone, which is isn't uncommon. It's quite normal to hear about this. And the funny thing is, we hear about the the uh, the success the success stories because the people that are marketing the product want us to hear about them, right? So we hear about all the success stories from the fatty diets or the powders, but we sort of never really hear about the normal food diet because it's not sexy. So it doesn't sell selling normal food diets. Anyway, let's say that you stuck to a fatty diet or a powder diet first. Yeah, let's say six weeks and lost three stone, for example. Um, <clears throat> so then you're happy with that. You've, you've lost the weight you wanted to lose. Happy days. Now we can go back to eating normally, right? And guess what happens? All the weight piles straight back on because you've not learned how to actually eat like a like the sort of person that you want to be. You haven't learned to eat as the person that weighs three stone less. So you've just lost three stone and gone back to all the same habits that somebody that weighs three stone heavier would have, right? So you've not actually changed anything up here. Which brings me on to the third 
reason that so few people actually succeed with losing weight and that is because um, people don't get a chance to emotionally catch up with the person that they're becoming they don't they can't see themselves being this person and as a result they don't act like the type of person that would weigh the amount that they want to weigh okay so let's say you're a 16 stone person um, your habits are gonna equal a 16 stone person to become a 12 stone person your daily and weekly habits will um, need to change they need to be different uh, to, in order to lose that weight okay um, and just and just to be that be that type of person so something that's powerful is just looking around and seeing how other people live it's not taking it too drastically um, not trying to go too extreme with the dieting and this is where so many people fall off the wagon whether it's fad dieting whether it's starving yourself um, whatever the the form none of these things work I'm sure you you've seen this time and time again um, so one thing to conclude all of this the plan that does work is the plan that you stick to first and foremost okay so weight loss as I always try and say to my clients is a long-term process okay if you've had years and years of habits ingrained into you that have made you gain weight it's going to take a long time to change those habits and to get you uh, to get some habits ingrained into you that are going to help you lose weight and to be a lighter and healthier person so it takes time to build these habits so don't expect results overnight because as we've discussed already the results overnight often turn back to, to the uh, to the original result overnight so if you go from 16 stone to 12 stone in a in too short space of a time and don't adapt with your with your thoughts your beliefs and your rituals then you'll you'll go straight back up to a 16 stone kind of person in a very short space of time so first off stick to one plan find one plan stick to it for a long period of time until you really get results learn how to how your body responds to things everyone's different so there's no one size fits all it's all about learning for yourself and unfortunately no one even a personal trainer can't do this for you you have to monitor and adjust your own results and obviously I'm gonna throw this one into here because this is my plan um, if you click the link below then you'll get onto my free video course where I teach you all about how to figure out the right amount of calories for yourself um, how to go about consuming these calories in, a, in an enjoyable and sustainable way that's not restrictive it doesn't require you to eat tiny salad meals three times a day um, and it actually encourages you to eat chocolate and cookies and crisps on a daily basis because these are the foods that are enjoyable and as I've said it's a long-term process so we must enjoy every single day of it in order to actually get the result we need um, because we can set out on an extreme plan like a powder plan that might well get us results real quick but we know sure as hell we don't want to live the rest of our lives every <laughs> brilliant time for my camera to cut out again so my, so first my flip camera dies and then my phone dies absolutely fantastic so what I was finishing up there with was that if, if you start a diet and you think that it's not something you could continue every day for the rest of your life then it's not even worth entertaining because of everything I've just just discussed in this video um, that if it's <clears throat> if it's something that means that you have to restrict yourself then it, you can't do it for a long period of time you might well go ahead and lose a load of weight in a short period but it's gonna pile straight back on when you go back to your normal way of living so sign up for my free video course below and I'll teach you everything you need to know for free okay and this is something which is sustainable it's not a fatty type diet it's actually the real nitty-gritty of how to get the weight off you and keep it off okay and do it in an enjoyable way I really hope this video has been helpful sorry it's been such a long one uh, if you like my stuff then please like the video and please subscribe to my channel I look forward to speaking to you soon I'm bringing out new videos every week